This lesson for Algebra 1 is about independent and dependent variables. Let's start by defining both of those terms. The first one is independent. If you think about what that means in life, it's usually someone who's on their own or can take care of themselves. In math, independent variable is a value you can control. Think of that as an independent person controlling their own life. For math, again, it's a value you can control. It's also the input of the function or the x value. I use that same concept to figure out what dependent means. Dependent depends on the independent. It needs someone else to be sustained. Dependent relies on the independent. It is also the output of the function and the y value. In class, we made a list of independent and dependent. I'm going to read you a story just like I read to the students in class. There are several pairs in this story that will line up. In particular, the book we're going to read is called If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. In the beginning of the story, it says, If you take a mouse to the movies, he'll ask you for some popcorn. And we talked about how if you take the mouse to the movies means you get to decide. Either you do take him or you don't. That would be the independent variable or the independent event here, is to take the mouse to the movies. The dependent event, once you took him, what happened was he wanted the popcorn. Notice I wrote the word wanted, because still, in a minute, you're going to have the choice of whether or not to give him the popcorn. Just like your parents have the choice, since you depend on them, of whether they want to give you what you want or don't want. The independent is the choice they make. So, one of the pairs in the book is take them out to the movies, and dependent is wanted popcorn. In the story, it says, when you give him popcorn, he'll want to string it all together. You chose to give him the popcorn, and as a result, he wants to string it together. Notice how popcorn was in two different places. Don't let that confuse you. It's dependent in here because it's what happened when you let him go to the movie. It's independent here because you chose to do it, and now he wants something else. I want to read you the rest of the story, and hopefully you can pick, figure out several more pairs that will go right along with this concept, and it will help you to understand what we're learning in class. Let me make sure I can get the book in view.